Fun Facts presents the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona. Here is a hidden classic muscle car from yesteryear. The Dodge Charger Daytona was introduced in 1969. I am excited. I hope you're excited. So let's get started now. Back in 1969, so many years ago, only 505 Dodge Charger Daytonas were built. It was the most conspicuously styled Dodge of all times and served as a model for Dodge Stark cars entering into the NASCAR races. It was available at a price of $3,860 US dollars. The performance, what motor came with the Dodge 69 Daytona? These Daytona models were sold to the public with several different engine options varying in size and horsepower. The undisputed king of the hill was the Hemi models like the one featured the 426 cubic inch V8 that was rated at 425 horsepower at 5,000 RPM with 490 foot-pounds of torque. As mentioned earlier, only 505 units were built of the Dodge Charger Daytona for the model 1969. The road-going version of the model was powered by the Hemi 426 7 liter with 425 horsepower or slightly more sedate, the 375 horsepower 440. The tuned racing version reached speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour on the oval race tracks. Called one of the winged warriors, at least that included the Plymouth Superbird, the Ford Torino Talladega, and the Mercury Cyclone Spoiler 2, the Daytona was powered by the Hemi 426 7 liter, 425 horsepower. It should be noted that the tuned racing versions reach speeds in excess of over 200 miles per hour. Named after Daytona Beach, Florida, a center for auto racing in the 50s, the Daytona 500 is regarded as the most important prestigious race on the NASCAR calendar, carrying by far the largest purse. Intended to be a high performance limited edition version of the Dodge Charger, only 505 were built with either a 440 Magnum or a 426 Hemi engine. The generation of muscle cars were produced in the summer of 1969. Unable to complete successfully on the high banks of the super speedways, which have tracks of mile or mile in length, the Daytona notched six wins in the years 1969 and 1970. Those wins pale in comparison to the more successful results by the 1970s Plymouth Superbird, the 1969 Ford Torino Talladega, and the 1969 Mercury Cyclone Spoiler. However, in the terms of speed, a Daytona driven by Buddy Baker in 1970 was first racing car to go beyond the 200 mile per hour mark in a NASCAR series. The car was one of five famous aero cars and later Christian christened Winged Warriors. The aero cars exploits in NASCAR's Top Cup series were cut short by a change in the rule book which effectively banned them from further competition. Was it because of their exceptional speed and performance? We may never know. We may never know. If you found yourself this far into the video, I've been reading from an article 
on the website known as supercars.net and I'll leave a link below in the video. We'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our video and if you like our video please give us a thumbs up, it really does help our channel. If you like our channel, please subscribe because we'll be doing all the muscle cars, we'll be doing sports cars, we'll be doing the supercars, the hybrid cars, we'll be doing all the custom cars and the hot rods and the auto ramas so there's a little bit of everything for everybody and we'd like to thank you for taking the time of course out of your day we wish you a great day and hope to see you when we upload our next video so thank you